everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today's video is going to be one of the biggest videos we've ever made here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel, and I really want to stress the word biggest, because we're going to be unboxing the brand new Hasbro HasLab Ghostbusters Plasma Series Spangler's Proton Pack. And yes, to further clarify, this video today, it is strictly just going to be an unboxing. We are going to be doing a full video review here in the coming days, so if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe here to the Ghostbusters news YouTube channel. Along with that, there is going to be some additional videos featuring some easy mods that you can do to the Hasbro HasLab Ghostbusters Plasma Series Spengler's Proton Pack. The title of that thing, it is, it is a mouthful. Now before I start tearing into this box, which let me tell you, I cannot wait for. Uh, the initial HasLab backing for this, it launched in either October 2021 or November 2021. Uh, so I've been waiting now for, I don't know, what's that, 14, 15 months? And while it did arrive before the spring 2023 launch, um, yeah, I've still been waiting over a year for this thing. You guys have as well. Um, let's go ahead and dive into this. But first, we need to talk about the box that it comes in. Made to match the box that the Plasma Series Spengler's Neutrona one came in. Uh, let me tell you, I'm typically an out-of-box collector. Usually when I open something, I just throw away the box. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with this one. We got some really cool printed detail work there with the caution striping, locks. Down on the bottom left-hand side here, you will see it does say Egon Spengler Proton Pack. Kind of made to look like it was put on there with like a label maker. And I think that's one of the big things I really do love about this packaging is the fact that it does come from a HasLab crowdfunded campaign. Uh, given that, all these were sold. They're not made to, you know, go on a shelf somewhere at a, uh, you know, big box store like a Walmart or anything like that. These are already sold, so they didn't really need to advertise what was inside. Instead, they just made the box look like it came directly out of the universe of the Ghostbusters. And yeah, they, they nailed it. Now, I know you're not here to hear me yap about a box. You're here for the unboxing, and I'm also here for the unboxing because there's a freaking Proton Pack in this box and I want it. So let's go ahead and break into this. All right, and opening the box here, uh, we have got ourselves a floorboard. Now, if you have watched Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I really hope you have, especially if you're watching this unboxing video, you already know the significance of what this floor represents, as it's made to resemble the flooring found in the Spengler family farmhouse, where Phoebe, of course, finds the ghost trap. But we're not gonna be finding a good ghost trap today. Again, inside the box, we've got ourselves a proton pack. Now, much like in Afterlife, the floor here, it does have a little puzzle. You'll see it's telling me to move this wood or cardboard panel to the left. And I'm trying here. Come on. And you gotta kind of fight with this a little bit. I think, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so we've got that opened up here. And we got a few things. First, phantasmical samples. And I am pretty sure inside of here, this is the uh, the marshmallow attachments for the Proton Pack. You see, when it was on the uh, the HasLab campaign, uh, tear into this here. Yeah, it is the it is the marshmallow goo, as you can see here. And yeah, the reason that we got this plus pretty much everything else inside the box outside of the Proton Pack is there were different class goals when it came to the crowdfunding campaign. This HasLab, it was a massive success. There was like 19,000 Proton Packs sold. Every single stretch goal tier was hit and among them being these marshmallow samples. Now these here, they are made to attach onto the Proton Pack. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna do that. I mean, I've seen other people do it already because these packs, they've been arriving over the past couple days or so, uh, pretty much over the past week. And to me, I'm not really the biggest fan, but I, I guess we're probably gonna find that out. Uh, not in this video. Again, we're gonna be doing a full review here in the coming days. But um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be using these on my pack. Now moving on here, there is another box inside this little compartment uh, in the floorboards here, and it is a small little kind of oblong looking ghost trap. A pretty cool funky little design. Let's go ahead and cut into this here. And these are, oh, I know what these are. These are the, um, the mini puffs. Uh, much like, once again, the marshmallow there and everything. As I already said, everything inside this box uh, is it was pretty much a stretch goal. And uh, yeah, these are charred little Ghostbusters Plasma Series mini puffs. Now, if you already own the standard figures of these, uh, you're pretty much gonna know exactly what to expect. You get three bodies, you get six heads in total, you can interchange the heads on the bodies. The only thing different between these figures and the ones that were already released is again, these look like they're charred. They've been toasted, they've been roasted. And that said, I think the actual paintwork here looks really, really good. 
I mean, yeah, it's just a simple addition. It's like two or three colors added on top of there. But I mean, these little guys, they do look like toasted marshmallow. So Hasbro, you, you did good here. This is one sweet extra. You get it, sweet extra, and we're talking about marshmallows because marshmallows are sweet. Uh, anyways, continuing on here, before I forget, uh, there's something else inside of here. And I think these are the instructions to the Proton Pack. Yes, they are. Now, I don't really know how handy these instructions are going to be because I've watched so many videos already on this Proton Pack. I know it, I think, inside and out. So I'm likely not going to need this, but I do love the design here. Once again, Hasbro, they did a phenomenal job at making everything kind of feel like it came from the world of the Ghostbusters. And I think with that, that does it for the uh, the floorboard. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way here. Is it is it taped in there? I think it could be taped in there. No, no, there's just something hooking. Oh, it's hooked onto the proton pack. I I I get it. Just gonna huck this over here. There you go. I just laid down some flooring. Home improvement, right? We got some boxes and. Okay, so here is the Proton Pack. And my first impressions here, honestly, this looks better than I expected. The fact that this is made by Hasbro, a toy company, and I mean, this is, let's be honest here, this is a toy. I know, adult collectible, all that stuff, but yeah, at heart, this is a toy. And the fact that Hasbro was able to get this amount of detail, the fact that they were able to fabricate all of these individual pieces and keep the price at only $400 US, once again, as part of that crowdfunding HasLab campaign. Seriously, I am blown away by this. Are there things I'm gonna change about it? Honestly, yes, a few things kind of here and there. Also, I recently watched that Adam Savage video over on his tested YouTube channel where he like gave it a custom paint job and I think I'm gonna kind of mirror that as well with mine. But really, just out of the box, there are no alterations needed to this thing. It, it looks great. In fact, let me go ahead and kind of take it out of here because I need a, need a better look at this. How, how does it come out? Oh, just, just lift it. All right, so I got the pack out of there and we are gonna show that off here in a second. But first, I think there, yeah, there's one more thing at the very bottom, but let's go ahead and get this cardboard out of the way. All right, so the last thing inside the box here, uh, it has the label right here. It says Stance Spangler Nuclear Accelerator Storage Stand. Okay, so Taryn opened this one. Yeah, we're gonna have the, uh, the stand here, which that looks like the main base. Uh, we've got kind of the sides and everything here. Uh, this, I believe, is going to be uh, the stickers. Yes, so here they are here. So we've got the stickers. Um, we've also got the Egon Spengler Journal. And when I say stickers, there's actually quite a few here. We've got two sticker sheets, one from the original 84 film and one from Ghostbusters Afterlife. And these stickers, they're just for fun. And then we have this sticker sheet, which is just replacement vinyl labels for the Proton Pack. So if you do want to have the, uh, the actual labels looking, you know, more pristine, have them looking nice, more like they did back in the first film, back in 1984, you can certainly put these on the Proton Pack. And again, yes, there is also Egon Spengler's journal. Now, I may do a deep dive in here, depending kind of what we find on the inside. I'm going to give this a read through later tonight. But if there is anything of value, we'll certainly cover it here on the Ghostbusters News Channel. So stay tuned. But first impressions here, it looks really good. And oh my, they even included the Scolari Brothers. As a Ghostbusters 2 lover, that just, just warms my heart. Oh, that's so good. Some more cardboard here. And holy, there is a lot of packaging. I mean... I'm, I'm gonna have to go to the city dump after this video. There's so much cardboard, there's so much wrapping and everything on the floor here in the collection room. And before we get the uh, the stand all put together here, there should be something left, I think, in this box. Let me just grab my, uh, my knife here. There we go, slice into here. And yeah, I knew we still had one of the most important pieces left to unbox here. And that is the Proton Pack hose, obviously to connect the pack itself up to that previously released Spengler Neutrona wand. Again, much like the Proton Pack, the hose here, it is based off of its appearance in Ghostbusters Afterlife. So you can see the part that actually connects to the Proton Pack here. Uh, it's made to kind of look like a gas mask hose. And the detail on that hose, I mean, that looks so freaking good. I know once again in uh, Adam Savage's video where he did some of the customization, he did paint this to kind of bring out some of the detail and everything. 
And uh, yeah, again, I think I think I'm gonna mimic that. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal his idea just a little bit. But let's uh, move the hose out of the way. All right, and continuing inside of that box here. Oh, we've got we got this, which is the small little orange tip for the Neutrino wand. For those that may be a bit unaware, nowadays any of the Neutrino wands that you buy, uh, they're gonna actually come with an orange tip rather than silver. This is just a safety protocol thing to show that the Neutrino wand is, uh, you know, not a real actual gun. And yes, I do know it sounds ridiculous to a lot of you out there, but all it takes is one time. Somebody mistakes the Neutrino wand for a gun, uh, something bad happens, so you know what, I, I get it, I understand it. And also at the same time too, this makes sure that uh, the Hasbro, they are not liable, so yeah. All right, so in this box here, there's only two more items on the inside. Um, let's, yeah, we'll just huck that on the floor again. And this right here, uh, yeah, it is the ion arm for the proton pack. And oh, actually, uh, this portion, the uh, the rod, is actually real metal. And I don't know why I just acted like really surprised there. I mean, once again, I've watched tons of videos already on this proton pack. Um, I, I knew it was real metal. I think mentally, I'm just still trying to get over the hurdle that uh, this was, again, made by Hasbro, a toy company, because, yeah, to me, like, appearance-wise and everything, even though, at its basis, yes, it is a toy, uh, it doesn't really look or feel like a toy. Okay, and the last thing inside of here is... There we go. Uh, we got a bunch of metal attachments. We got some uh, hardware there. All these pieces are to attach an Alice LC1 frame to the Proton Pack's motherboard. Now, quick heads up, we are going to be doing that in an upcoming video. As I've already mentioned, as I've already pitched to you, we are going to have a full review here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel in the coming days. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. But right now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to attach this iron arm. I'm also going to uh, build this stand here. And um, yeah, I'm going to attach the actual wand to the Proton Pack. So give me a second. And let me get all that ready. All right, so here it is, fully assembled outside of, again, adding that Alice LC1 frame. And before I talk about the pack, let me first talk about uh, the stand itself. Because that stand, it was a pain in the rear end to put together. Like, you feel like that you may break it. And that's not because it feels flimsy, far from it. It's because you have to put so much pressure to get everything kind of like snapped together. It kind of reminds me a lot of the old school real Ghostbusters Kenner Firehouse in the sense that when you put it all together, you're going to have a heck of a time if you ever want to take it apart. Now, I debated even showing the Proton Pack in this manner because, once again, this is just the unboxing, not the review. But, but how can I not show this? I mean, just look at it. Totally worth the, I don't know, 15, 16 month wait on this thing. And like I said, when I first saw it in person, I cannot believe Hasbro delivered so well on this. Are there things I'm gonna change about it? Totally. But up until this point, when it comes to like an out of the box Proton Pack, really all fans had was Spirit Halloweens. And out of the box, those Spirit Halloween Proton Packs, I mean, they look good for a Halloween costume. And you guys out there, the fellow fans, you did amazing work when it came to customizing them. Making them worthy of, you know, taking them to a convention or wearing them within a Ghostbusters fan franchise. But this one right here, the Hasbro HasLab Ghostbusters Proton Pack, just out of the box, I mean, you can strap this on your back and there are no modifications honestly really needed. Now, with that said, there are a few things that I personally feel like I need to alter with this. And likely in that review, you're going to see a few changes on this pack. And of course, one thing is adding that LC1 frame. Again, it did come with all the hardware needed. And if you guys want a separate video on how to attach an LC1 frame to the Hasbro pack, I know it's quite easy, but if you feel like you need a tutorial, comment down below. Let me know. We'll make that up for you. But it should be said that the straps and the kidney pad that it does come with, I mean, they look all right. In fact, they look pretty dang good, to be honest, a lot better than I initially expected. One thing I did think I was going to change was the ribbon cable, but I got to say, seeing it in person, I kind of dig it. It's dirty, it's filthy, it's grimy, and like, I don't know why, but I thought all the line work in the ribbon cable, it would just be like printed detail. Like each small little line, it wouldn't have like its own little ridge, but it does have that. You can run your finger across it and it feels like an actual ribbon cable. Now this big yellow sock looking thing, ah uh, yeah, this is not at all screen accurate and this is something I'm immediately going to change. Like as soon as this video ends, before I start editing it, yeah, I'm going to change this. Oh, and before I forget, I also attached the iron arm to the top of the proton pack there. As you already know by now, yeah, the rod itself, it is made of metal. So that's a pretty nice little addition from Hasbro. 
And to attach it into place, it is really easy to do so. There's just like small little pegs. You kind of just press it up against it. You put a little bit of pressure and that is it. And I do feel like that's something that I'm gonna have to change either, you know, putting kind of like the screw heads into the, uh, the front there and, you know, kind of making it secure that way or maybe just gluing it in place because as I've worn my, like in my replica, Proton pack that I've had for the past nine, 10 years or so. Uh, when I wear it at a convention, there are so many times that the iron arm, it gets caught, snagged on something. And I have a feeling if that was to happen with this one, uh, it would just kind of like pop off. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna secure that a little, a little better. And I guess since we already had the Proton pack out, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. The power switch here under the iron arm that is screen accurate to what is seen in Ghostbusters Afterlife. You flip the switch there and yeah, I mean this thing, it looks great. You got the blue power cell going up there. You get the red lights on the cyclotron. And right now this is in Ghostbusters Afterlife mode. Now you likely already know this, but one really cool feature is they put the volume control kind of up here on the crank knob. So you can kind of turn that down. Um, that, what you hear right now, that's like the vibration, the rumble motor on the inside. A lot of people online, they say it kind of sounds like a cow and I'm, I'm certainly gonna turn this off because I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. And to turn that motor off, yes, I know you know how to do it. I mean, again, everybody that bought one of these packs, it seems like they're making YouTube videos or TikToks or Facebook videos or Instagram videos. Everybody out there, they're trying to take a piece of that Proton Pack pie, that pie that Ghostbusters News wants. But regardless, I'm gonna show you here. Now, much like Phoebe and Ghostbusters Afterlife, we gotta get into the inside of this pack. And to do so, we just twist the shock mount here. The main portion of the shock mount, it is made of plastic. However, the rod here, it is metal. And from there, the bumper, it just slides perfectly out there. And after that, all you gotta do is just, yeah, remove the actual cyclotron cover. Now we'll likely dive a little bit more in detail uh, regarding the interior here in that full review that's incoming. But really what I wanna show you is the two switches, the two actual switches that are found on the inside of here. With one switch controlling which mode you're in, either the afterlife mode or 1984 Ghostbusters. And then the other switch, it turns off or turns on that vibration feature. And again, I'm gonna turn that off. Can I also just add how much I love the fact that they included the shock mount as like a play feature on this Proton Pack. Now again here, we are gonna turn on this switch and there we go. So right now we are in 1984 OG Ghostbusters mode with that rumble feature turned off. And outside of the difference in audio, of course, the big change here with this one is the way the cyclotron lights kind of cycle around there in a much slower fashion. At this point, we really haven't talked too much about the Spengler Neutrona one. I do have mine attached to it right here, which you may notice I have modded just a little bit already. In fact, I'm still modding it. So please don't be too harsh on it. But I do need to touch on the fact that Hasbro, they did add in the feature where you can control the proton pack, kind of, from the Neutrona wand here. Now all the audio from the wand, it, it just comes out of the wand. It doesn't come out of the pack or anything like that. So if you decide, you know, you wanna fire it. Yeah, that is just coming out of the wand itself there. However, if you turn off the wand, you will see here, wait for it. Maybe, there it is. It did turn off the Proton Pack. And then I think you've got like three, four or five minutes, something like that, uh, a small window where if you do want to turn the Proton Pack on again, uh, using the wand, you can totally do so. Oh, that was so cool. You see the smile on my face just then? I don't really think I've kind of nerded out uh, that much in this video just yet. I think I've kind of played it kind of cool. I mean, as cool as a late 30 year old guy reviewing a $400 toy can be, but, um, yeah, this this is awesome. Um, I'm I'm gonna put quite a bit of work again into that review that's incoming. Um, in fact, I think that just about does it for this unboxing video. Uh, I've got my Alice LC one frame over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna attach that to the pack. Like I said, there's a few alterations, a few changes that I want to do with it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm loving this so far. There are some nitpicks I am gonna get into. So you know, watch that other video when it comes out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, um, but I do want you guys out there if you have any requests if there's anything you want to see in the review video if um, You know, there's anything that maybe you feel like any other reviews or unboxings They didn't really take a look at that you're curious about be sure to comment down below in this video Let me know and I'll do my best to accommodate and feature it in the full review of this proton pack So if there is something you want to see you've got a question or anything be sure to let me know comment down below and with that said ooh, I got I got the slime mode turned on. Just gonna, just gonna reattach it there. Turn off everything. One second. 
That's so cool. So yes, with that said, that does it all for this video. As always, I know I've said it tons of times in this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description. And I'll see you right back here next time. <laughs> <laughs>